You can't make me trans bread. I will not take the meds. <laughs> Time to take your meds. No, don't have people can tell me. Hello, friends. Trace amounts of science. My goodness. Guess who is back in our subreddit, r slash redx reads after like a two or three month hiatus. The delusional game shop owner, the one and only hot dog man. Uh, people seem excited by the return, so okay, we'll front load a video, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I don't know how much of this I can endure anyways. Let's just see how it goes and, uh, hop into this thing, I guess. <laughs> return of the King! I want my phone call! I noticed that this is the, the same account again. God, Emperor, King, Rod, God. You managed not to get this one deleted somehow. So like, wow, congratulations for real. <laughs> I'm glad that we know exactly where to find you now. I don't know which one of you did it. Congratulations on getting me in trouble with your bully discord, Brad. I don't think I've heard Hot Dog Man say word one in the Discord. If somebody found you out, that was of their own volition. Four weeks ago, one of your weirdo stands came into my store. Stands with a D. <laughs> she had an X on her sweater. I knew it was one of your fans. You know, X is like a very commonly used standalone letter, okay? I knew it was one of your fans. <laughs> We are reaching levels of delusion here that I truly didn't think was possible. I grow more and more concerned by the minute, and <laughs> really, <laughs> these posts have taken a turn. We're not even trying to tell a story now, except for, like, the overarching tragedy of the hot dog man's existence. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... yeah, this is going places. I threaten them, as is my God-given right. They wouldn't leave, Brad, because you paid them to harass me. <laughs> I did no such thing. Where's the paper trail all that? I don't really know who you are at all, fella. <laughs> I haven't looked into it. I'm just the guy who likes to get silly behind the microphone sometimes, and some people, yeah, just, just really spin out of control over it. <laughs> Most of the people that get angry at it are, are like wise enough to just leave let people enjoy what they enjoy But not hot dog man. No indeed <laughs> I paid nobody. How did you harass them also? Are you menacing them with a firearm in your own shop? <laughs> hey you get off of my property now ah! God uh... Uh, I think they would leave if you pulled one out, so maybe he's just verbally, whatever. And then she called the cops on me, and I was taken to a mental hospital. Damn, dude. Maybe he really did pull a piece out. <laughs> this, is, this is wild. They held me for weeks, Brad! Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that, fella, but really I, I had nothing to do with it. These are all the consequences of your own actions. You realize that now, don't you? <laughs> The cops wouldn't listen. I told them about your bully discord and all the people coming to harass me. About the ex license plates. All the graffitis they left. Even made them watch your bully videos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think police officers would get this content at all. <laughs> it appeals to a very specific demographic, you see. Although there are outliers, that one gay cop who wrote the Boot Beard Saga, he's still kicking around the channel all these years later. We value our friends and contributors here at Red X Industries, but they do need to be able to, you know, take on some constructive criticism every now and again. And, and I expect the same of, you know, people that watch the videos, and sometimes they let me know when I said something out of line, or when they feel that it's out of line. Then usually I ask my wife as the tiebreaker. Because <laughs> hers is the opinion that really truly matters to me. Anyway, what were you saying? Yeah, bully discord that we've never seen you speak inside. I guess you're just lurking. You got screenshots of the mean stuff that was said about you. This is what happens. People say mean stuff about you on the internet and some people just can't let it go. It's so fucking easy to let it go, dude. <laughs> Who cares what another person thinks? You're going down like this really long, deep, dark road and you don't have to. You're howling at the moon <laughs> over things that are just completely in your head. 
Anyway, uh, continuing the post. The cops totally didn't care about Red X videos. Yeah, it's too bad, bro. <laughs> right into the mental hospital I went. They took my guns, Brad. They took my guns, Brad. It's not your fault. Those were collector's items. <laughs> yeah. But they were doing more than sitting on the shelf collecting dust. You were you were actively using them to quote unquote defend your shop. But I think the threat is non-existent. Like the channel, <laughs> we've got a few thousand people spread across the entire world. I don't think there's a collective of Red X viewers big enough in your town to like orchestrate something this elaborate or if they did, then I would have heard word of it <laughs> and said, hey, please don't. But I've heard nothing of the sort. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's best if they, you know, take these things away for a little while or or a lot of while. <laughs> Since we don't know how much further this could possibly spin out of control. Maybe you should lean into like the mental hospital thing and, you know, accept some of the therapy or or drugs they give you and, and see if it can't balance you out in some way. Because you seem to be fighting this thing tooth and nail, but really there's there's something there could, that could be beneficial to you, you know? Why not lean in, see what they have to say, accept some criticism on board. It's not all bad, you know, these things do happen. We made some choices that weren't the best, but it's it's not too late to turn the ship around. <laughs> if we don't turn the ship around, it's only going to get worse. Are you with me, friendo? I'm sure he's gonna keep thrashing about, but yeah, this straitjacket should help. <laughs> uh... I refuse their stupid estrogen-filled pills. <laughs> what? Uh, I refuse to take estrogen. I'm a man, Brad. Okay, yeah, but there is some amount of estrogen in everybody, just like women have some amount of testosterone. <laughs> this is how the human body functions, okay? Do you just have too much testosterone? That would explain at least some of the, like, the aggression in the posts, you know? Kind of roid raging out for absolutely no reason. It's like you're going through a, a second or third or tenth puberty, you know? And it's gonna be hell on your shriveled up little grape nuts. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna go. I'm trying to be friendlier in this one and be like, hey, we don't have to menace people. We don't have to destroy our lives like this, all right? It's time to start making different decisions. Uh, he says, they wouldn't leave me though until I took their stupid medication. He didn't understand the indignity. I mean, was it a suppository? Probably not. It's fine. <laughs> you put it in your mouth and swallow it. Although it would be really terrifying me to like have no choice in the matter. I, I, I can sort of understand where you're coming from. I'm sorry that happened to you. That must have been a really bad experience. I do understand the indignity, at least in some fashion. When I got locked up for a little bit, they made me do the old squat and cough when they take you outside, you know? <laughs> there! You like it? You like it? It's all yours, f You gotta make sure we didn't uh, smuggle all anything back in. All that to say, I'm right there with you on some level, okay, dude? Now we're totally getting along. Now we're totally friends. Let's have that phone call and not menace any more people with weapons. Does that sound good? <laughs> because really, okay, the whole thing could be, you know, trolling, trolling, but... If it's legitimate, I do not want to be held legally accountable for anything that might happen as a result of poking and prodding. <laughs> it, it is a very out there post so far, but I just don't know. The line between reality and fantasy has blurred far too much now. The dimensional merge is coming. <laughs> uh, oh, whatever, continuing. Every time I didn't take medication, they made me stay longer. My shop was in the hands of one of my friends, and he stole from me. All because you got me put into a mental hospital with your stands. With a D, again. You robed me, Brad. <laughs> you robed me. <laughs> Yes, clad in criticism you were. Surely it must have chafed, but after a while you developed some, some scar tissue, you know? Is this a good analogy? <laughs> I like to think the robes that I make would be like a nice fleece, you know? Whatever, anyway. This is all because you were too lazy to give me my phone call. 
I set up an entire appointment system for for patrons to sign up on the Calendly is what I used, <laughs> and uh, one person signed up and missed the meeting. It wasn't the hot dog man that signed up. <laughs> Just I don't know. I don't know what I could do here. Okay. Take it off the reward tier list, I guess, and just be like, okay, sorry. <laughs> if that's what you signed up for, my bad. The logistics worked in my head. Not so much in the real world. <laughs> anyway. The doctors told me I was obsessed. I concur. <laughs> they told me not to contact you anymore. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so nice? I didn't listen, and I won't take their stupid estrogen pills now that I'm free. <laughs> Are we even sure they're estrogen pills? Are they, I'm pretty sure they're antipsychotics of some sort. You probably should take them. And despite the wealth of free content that you've given me, I gotta agree, yeah, probably don't contact me anymore if you're if you're spiraling out of control like this. I know I dunked on you, I know we had our, our difficult times together, but I'm trying to turn it all around now, see? I don't want anybody to actually get hurt here. Even you, hot dog man, you've you done some deplorable things, but I still think you're redeemable. Deep down, I see it in you. Anyway, they can't stop me from demanding my God-promised phone call. <laughs> Like God promised it to you? I'm just saying it's kind of weird because I didn't promise it to God. <laughs> I'm not obsessed. You're the ones who are obsessed. I mean, kind of people. People are hungry for the hot dog, man, you know? <laughs> Nothing says good eats like pork lips and anus. <laughs> he says, I'm better than all your stupid riders. <laughs> I'm better than you, Brad. Oh, oh no. Say it ain't so. That'll cause my ego to spin out of control. <laughs> the weird thing about it is like I acknowledge that people do have different talents. And yeah, there's probably a lot of people out there that are better than me. <laughs> Congratulations. I have yet to see any of it from you personally. But like I said, deep down in there, I, I see something inside you. Why else would people become so morbidly fascinated? You know, I think I'm doing really good playing the good cop, bad cop here. <laughs> You have no idea how hard it is to be surrounded by people who can't see truth. I see it clearly now, Brad. You're a grifter with an army of weirdos and neckbeards, and you come to dance on my grave. <laughs> Dude, this, is, this has gone so far beyond what I ever expected. I think in your mental spiral, you have ascribed a lot of thoughts to me that I I have never said. <laughs> Dance on your grave, what? I've been hypercritical, maybe a little bit mean at times. Definitely no bully. But in this episode, I'm like trying to flip it back around. You know what I mean? I don't want you to, to continue down this road. I'm the one sticking my hand out to pull you out of the grave. How about that? We will see who dances, Brad. I'm a great dancer. Well, it takes two to tango, doesn't it? <laughs> the cops can take my guns, but they can't take away my crossbows. <laughs> yes, they can take away my pistol, but not my morning star. <laughs> That's ludicrous. You realize that, right? What are you doing running around with a crossbow? You don't need that, okay? Walter, put the crossbow away, Walter. I have so many crossbows now, Brad. Cool, dude. That's that's really neat. I'm glad for you. I hope that you don't use them to, to harm another individual. I dare you to send another one of your neck bread weirdos to my business. <laughs> I'll show them, Brad. I will show them the tip of a crossbow arrow, Brad! I will show them. Dude, this is weird. <laughs> don't look, don't see it. Kind of reminds me of Bird Box, you know? I guess just because it's repetitious. <laughs> uh, yes, I will show them. I will show them the tip of the crossbow. They will see when I show them. I get it, okay. They don't actually exist. I'm not associated with anybody outside of like the videos that are uploaded directly to my channel. Like I said before, you've ascribed a lot of meaning to 
I think things that I didn't say. You have this caricature of me in your mind, which is fine. I do play a little bit of a caricature behind the microphone, but it's all for, for jokes, for laughs, for funsies. But it stops becoming fun when somebody loses an eye. You know what I mean? So let's let's not do this. Could we just not? You tried to make the doctors put me on estrogen. <laughs> How much control do you think I have? He wears a lab coat. He's got a little scientist character. So he knows every doctor. <laughs> How does that work? Uh, what? Because I made fun of you, dead rider, and your trans friend? <laughs> you can't make me trans, Brad. I will not take the meds! <laughs> Time to take your meds. No! Don't have people control me! Uh, oh, yeah. He did accuse Ram Tide of being dead, and also my co host, Eric, for the Sunday live streams. He still swears that that dude's trans. <laughs> uh, uh, we've invited him on the show and stuff like that. That could count as the phone call. I'd love to see it, honestly. I go 50-50 on Super Chats with you, bro. Maybe not 50-50. 80-20. <laughs> uh, doesn't really matter what I offer because he's not going to do it. And even if he did do it, he'd just get on there and like tell more weird schizophrenic lies. <laughs> uh, I, I know what's really going on. You're a puppet master, guiding the soft, squishy minds of your stupid fan, Brad. I, I think there are some squishy minds out there, but I like to think that I'm molding them for the better. I, I don't make any reservations about like, oh, I, I don't affect people, it's all jokes and stuff. No, there's a lot of advice and stuff tucked into the videos too. I do have my point of view, and I don't think it makes me a, a quote-unquote puppet master <laughs> to to share with people and maybe bring some people over to my side. There's also people that just stick around for the jokes or stick around because they disagree with everything I say, but it really doesn't matter in the end. Like, it's all views as far as YouTube is concerned. And also, I, I take further exception to the fact that uh, my fans are very intelligent. Like, I think we have one of the smartest, funniest communities on the internet. Obviously, I'm biased. <laughs> But whenever I go hang out with basically any other community, the vibe is not quite the same. I like the irreverence. I like the ability to tell a joke at anybody's expense and still get a laugh. Even at my own expense. Who cares? What you really need to do is ascend, hot dog man. A wizard cares not for the opinion of mortals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whatever, continuing on. The doctors are wrong, Brad. I know you've sent your bullies after me. I know they spray paint my building. Whatever, it picks or it didn't happen, okay? <laughs> uh, go spray paint a building and then you show me. Until that point, I'm not believing another word of this. If you can make demands, then I can make demands, right? I know they're planning to put me in the hospital again, Brad. <laughs> I mean, if you're going there, that's your choice. I don't want to go to the sex change factory again, Brad. <laughs> no! Stop it! Somebody help! You want the Emmy, don't you? Yeah! Yeah! And that is how I became your mother. Uh, Jesus, you are killing me with this. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go. It's fine. I took you off the schedule or <laughs> whatever. Uh, I know these pills aren't meant to help me. They're meant to turn me soy! <laughs> like you stupid fans! <laughs> uh, we do have a, a bit of soy in the audience, but there's also quite a few, like, beyond based, so I don't know. We accept all types around here. The difference is, like I said earlier, you have to know how to take a joke and make a joke. You seem incapable of both of those things, so I don't think you'll ever fit in. They think they're better than me! But I see they stupid comments. They call me Hot Dog Man. <laughs> That's really the part that gets you the most, you know? You've been given so much criticism, but this is what you decide to focus on. Maybe I shouldn't call him Hot Dog Man anymore. Maybe that's, that's like reductive and doesn't help to drive the point home for him. But on the other hand, the tomb's been built, <laughs> the bed's been made, now, now all you gotta do is climb in. All this talk about graves, but look at that, that's a really nice grave that you made for yourself. <laughs> you dug that all by yourself? Awesome. Now, do get in. They think I'm delusional. They think I'm a crazy person. 
Uh, that's why they harass me. And that is because that is what you told them to do. No, I don't. I don't think so. Citation needed. <laughs> okay. I don't think I ever encouraged. I've, in fact, I discouraged it, especially when I saw it start escalating. I'm like, okay, we're gonna pump the brakes, and I tried to pump the brakes a lot in this video too. But I'm also getting a little bit prickly the further we go on. <laughs> I'm not liking it none too much. I won't go back to the hospital, Brad. One, I won't. <laughs> Okay, then don't. They've, they've taken your weapons away. As long as you don't menace anybody with a crossbow, I think probably you will be fine. Do you know what it takes to get sent to a mental hospital these days? <laughs> Basically everybody on the planet would be locked up. I'd rather die than eat estrogen pills again. I would not do it, Brad. <laughs> okay, you don't have to do it, buddy, okay? Everything's fine. You will give me my damned phone call! You will do it! If you're what you put me through, you will do it now! Do it now, Brad! <laughs> Whoa, relax, dude. Take it easy, man. Cool your beans, bro. <sighs> okay, shit, where, where'd I put that number? Oh, no. Like I told you before, the, the phone calls are canceled, okay? <laughs> we don't do that anymore. There are no rollover minutes. Everything has been retroactively canceled. And these are the consequences of your actions, sir! Your Patreon's a lie! I never got one phone call! For that, I sincerely apologize. I've officially refunded every single payment you've ever sent me. That is two $20 payments, three $50 payments, so $200 to, to rid ourselves of this situation seems like a relatively paltry sum. Do I need the $50 as I've said the entire time? No, I don't. I like to have it, it's been fun, it's been real. But I think we're just about done now, so, you know, take that couple hundred bucks and spend it in good health, book yourself a therapy session or two, maybe. <laughs> Please. Oof. You could have called me in the Waterhead Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> if I had any notification whatsoever, then perhaps <laughs> nobody let me know. You didn't list me as your emergency contact. <laughs> You didn't do it, Brad, and I could have used the support. My life is crumbling because of your stupid bully circus. I wish it wasn't like that for you, okay? <laughs> it was never my intention with the videos to ruin anybody's life. Oh, we're supposed to sit around and have a laugh. Sometimes the OPs that get roasted and toasted don't end up having a laugh, and inevitably I do feel a little bit bad about it, you know? But that doesn't mean the show stops. That doesn't mean we shift gears. This is the, the one thing that I'm halfway competent at, okay? <laughs> it's all I know how to do! Please understand, I'm trapped here just like you! <laughs> uh, all of you are clown! I am a king! I command your respect! No, you demand it. You do not command it. If you commanded it, it would be it would be given instantaneously. Right upon meeting you, I'd be like, well, this is a guy who knows what the fuck he's talking about. Unfortunately, that didn't turn out to be the case. <laughs> you can't just throw a fit and have it handed over to you, okay? I don't know if that's how things have worked in your life up to this point, but it's not how it works in the real world. Send someone else into my shop with an X on their shirt. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens, Brad. They will know the wrath of a true god. That is like su such a concerning thing to say. What an odd thing to say. Why would you say that? You're gonna end up back in the loony bin, you know that. You know that, don't you? I know you're behind all this, Brad. I have the side of a god and a king. And I can see the string you are pulling in an attempt to ruin my life. Yeah, it wasn't me. That was all you, okay? <laughs> for once, you could take complete credit for everything. You would ruin a man's life over a phone call? No, you, dude. You're the one that's, like, sending private eyes and things like this. It's, <laughs> it's already gone so much further than it needs to, okay? I assume now you've been refunded, everything is gonna be, you know, hunky-dory. You're gonna just snap right back to reality, lift your head up and carry on. 
At least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but I'm hoping. Too busy to give me a phone call, so you sent me to a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you had my shop vandalized. It was probably you who convinced my friend to rob me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, how deep do you think the uh, the fingers of Red X Industries go? Trust me, not that deep. <laughs> it's mostly just a YouTube channel that talks crap, okay? We're not too much into the, the politics and the, the gay ops. <laughs> uh, it's normal, everything's fine here. Over $10,000 of inventory is missing, Brad. Do you have it? Give it back to me if you have it. I will find a way to get my inventory back from you. I don't even know. <laughs> like Pokemon cards or something? <laughs> I don't have any Pokemon cards in my house, okay? If I had $10,000 worth of inventory, my children would, would ruin it. Instantly. Just give me my phone call and give me back my cards. <laughs> uh, uh, no and no. You've been refunded. I've given you what I can give you. As far as the $10,000 go, I don't know, man. Shit out of luck. That one me. <laughs> you tell your stupid fans to stay away from me. They better stay away, Brad. It won't be pretty, Brad. You become public enemy number one. I will make you a public enemy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Am I going to be on the, the top 10 list? I bet you do have 10 other people that you're just, you're raging about at this moment, don't you? Or is it just me? If it's just me, I'm a little bit flattered. Maybe it is just me because I'm the only one who like, actually engages. <laughs> do you think you can just do this to man, Brad? Well, I am no man. I am God! Yeah, we, we've heard all this before. It's very repetitious. I look down on you like a child with a magnifier glass on ants, colon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep your magnifier glass away from my colon. <laughs> it must be such a super strong magnifier, too. That's a microscope at that point. To see an ants, colon? My God. <laughs> uh, I see it all so clearly. You are jealous of a proud, rich god king. I think I have admitted to being jealous of one thing, and that is the swimming pool. But to have everything in life fall down around you in exchange for the swimming pool, I don't know. I think I can live without it suddenly. <laughs> I did not have to dance for peanuts like you. Eh, it's a living. <laughs> These peanuts keep me well fed. You can bully all you want. It's nothing to a god like me. Yeah, it seems like you're you're deeply affected. More so than you want to admit. <laughs> I'm the master and creator of this world, and you are a clown. All your fans are just mindless meat. <laughs> mindless meat? Uh, yeah, okay. Beef to burger, they are nothing. Nutrition for greater beings such as myself, Brad. Dude, this is <laughs> high quality schizo posting. <laughs> uh, are you going, are you cannibal now? What the fuck is happening here? I've tried to keep it nice and respectful, but at a certain point it just goes so far off the rails. It's like, I, I can't even find you to continue respecting you. Is this still you? Please take the pills. Take the pills and then write me a post, could ya? All I need is like a, a, a moment of clarity. <laughs> Maybe I can get through. The doctors thought that I could fix me. <laughs> yes, thou dost proven themselves incapable. Hmm. I flush their pills in toilet because I'm not broken. You and your bully discord are the porlum. <laughs> We've been the Porlum this whole time, you guys. <laughs> I've, I've, I have no idea what you're talking about. You haven't stuck your head up in the Discord long enough to be bullied. You don't have the guts. Your Discord full of neck beards. I mean, essentially everybody's, you know, it, it's more of a spectrum. It's not like you're neck beard or not. <laughs> it's like, oh, we're a neck beard in recovery. And that's where a lot of people on the channel fall. I'll admit that. I've admitted that about myself, <laughs> like since the beginning of the channel. 
All of them cringe and unaccepting of my perfect views on the world. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm a perfect being, and you are a man who hides behind humor. Dude, it is like the best shield ever. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> Maybe you hate it, but you have to admit it's effective. <laughs> uh, I'm a god, and you are my servant, and you will call me. Nope, that's out the window now. I think we're done with all of this now. I thought the entire thing was over. I was ready to put it to bed, have people stop asking me about you. But then two, three months later, what pops up? Here it is. This is the post that made me realize it's truly not going to stop. Hence, I've refunded you. Hence, <laughs> please, please stop. I do not wish to call you. It's time to stop, okay? No more. That's the first time that I've said that out loud, but I've reached acceptance. Now I'd ask that you do the same. No amount of estrogen pills forced down my throat by your bulls will change, <laughs> will change my superior person. <laughs> this is getting so weird. Bulls? <laughs> uh, oh, I, don't, I don't think you can have multiples in a room. Don't they like start fighting or something? <laughs> Uh, I am divine, and you are a dancing clown. More like a, a, a monkey with a tin cup and a grinder organ, you know? <laughs> I rattle my tin cup hither and thither. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Somehow, the dancing clown always manages to feed his family, to have a happy wife and multiple children. Clown life ain't all bad, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, dance to the phone and give me my phone call, Brad. No, I danced to Patreon and refunded everything and blocked you. <laughs> you can no longer support me with that email. A god does not wait on his subjects. I mean, five months, I kept you waiting a minute, didn't I? <laughs> no, a god commands his subject. You will feel my divine wrath, Brad, if you do not give me what I'm rightfully owed. I've paid you back in full. We are done here. Thanks so much. A godly curse upon you and all your discord till I get my phone call, Brad. I demand it. You think this is worse than the curse of Elliot Roger? <laughs> it might be because it's like actively unfolding. I had to take down the Roger Manifesto. YouTube don't like that up none too much, so it had to go members only. You should join up on the Patreon of the YouTube memberships if you'd like to see it. I do the silly hot dog Cartman man voice throughout the entire thing. It's worth a dollar a month, I'll say that. Of course, again, I might be a little bit biased. <laughs> and you will pay service to your god. <laughs> I will take everything from you. How dare you have done this much damage to a generous god like me? I mean, shouldn't a god be untouchable, first of all? <laughs> Secondly, how are you gonna take everything? You can't even own land in the Philippines. We have quite a bit of land in the Philippines, but you can't have any of it. I guess unless you import a, a Filipina like you did your Mexican wife who ran away. I think you've gotta not have the Filipina run away, which <laughs> she will. She will. So even if you got the land, even if... <laughs> you wouldn't end up with it in the end, and I'd be okay with that. That's the really weird part about like, you know, saving and investing your money instead of buying a, a game shop to feed your own ego. <laughs> yeah. If you make smart investments, you can be pretty financially stable, and if, if some turbulent shit happens, you're just like, well, okay. <laughs> we'll deal with that then. It's all about financial freedom, you see? The financial freedom to refund months and months of Patreon membership and not think twice about it. I'm not gonna miss this at all. We can still visit each other in the posts. I'll read them for free. <laughs> uh, not like in perpetuity though. Once it stops being fun, like it really stops being fun. And I think we're quickly reaching that point when like other people's lives hang in the balance. Please, please don't do that. Anyway, continuing on. Uh, a generous god like me who wrote great stories for you. You laughed at them. You read them in a stupid voice. <laughs> <laughs> because you're jealous. You cannot slander a god. 
I'm above you, Brad! Okay, well, strike me down or whatever it is that you gods do. <laughs> Let me see, little rat! Smite me! Oh, mighty smiter! And I don't think I started reading your story in the voice immediately. It took a minute for me to catch the vibe, and then once I catch the vibe, yeah, why not? It's not slander directed at you, it's a caricature of how you come across in your post, okay? That's what it's always been on this channel. And yeah, if you write a story that's like kind of dog shit or hokey or <laughs> where you're doing something objectively wrong, I'm gonna call it out. A lot of channels wouldn't. They just go, neat story, bro, and read the next one. But that's the Red X difference, all right? I tell you what I actually think, for better or for worse. <laughs> uh, I am better than you in everywhere, Brad One. I am divine God. I am divine God. Do you know the way? <laughs> you have to have a bulla to know the way. I miss Vine for real. If you are really the god of Vine, can you bring it back? <laughs> and all of you who think you are crazy, you think Brad would not attack me? That's all he does with his stupid video. He bully me. No, dude, no bully. I told you before, we wouldn't do that, all right? It's a bit of harsh but constructive criticism to apply to your life. If you decide to get all caught up in your feelings and not apply any of it, well that's on you. I can't change that. But I do have to say what I have to say. Convince all of you to bully me, wake up! Realize that you are worship a false idol. You should worship me! <laughs> uh, oh man. That took a turn, didn't it? <laughs> Retract all your Patreon! He will not give you phone call! He is a false idol grifter! Trying to force feed me estrogen! <laughs> Sending his bulls to bullish me! <laughs> oh. oh, my suspension of disbelief is hanging by a thread. Well, you should include your own Patreon link, you know? I would subscribe to your Patreon. At least $10 a month. Like, for you to write a post every month, I'll give you $10. How about that? And then I'll start whining in the comments about how you didn't write the post right. <laughs> no, you're supposed to tell a more funny story. <laughs> Somebody's got to poop in their pants at some point. That's what the people want to see. Wake up, you stupid fools. Brad is the true neckbeard. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I send him beautiful crafter story and he attacks me! No more than you've attacked anybody else. I'm a, I'm a firm believer in tit for tat. Don't you see? He's just using you. He will not give you phone calls. He will not acknowledge your tribute patrons. He is the devil in sheep's cloth. Oh, I, I did say earlier I do enjoy some fleece. That's true. <laughs> It's weird of you to bring that up. I do acknowledge my patrons at least once a month. At least until I notice view numbers start to go down on that video. I'm like, oh, well, people ain't that interested. I gotta spice it up somehow. My brain's always working trying to do the best, uh, but a lot of the patrons are just there to support anyway, so shout out to them. Thank you so much for, for not being weird and demanding about it. <laughs> he just says, hey, I like the content you make every day. Here's some money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Matter of fact, quite good. Matter of fact, helps me out a lot. Anyway, God says to beware the false idol. Yeah, I think that's a commandment or something. Are you referring to yourself as God here? <laughs> I will D-A-M-C all your video, Brad. Oh no, not the D-A-M-C. <laughs> You're saying it wrong. Does he know it's a D-M-C-A? It's like way too out of order to have just transposed some thing, whatever. Then your channel will die, Brad! All you have to do is give me my phone call and reread my stories properly. Otherwise, your channel will burn, Brad! I will burn as an offering to the one true God! <laughs> this is weird. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do any of that. Numbers have been up and down, but I'll say it's better than folding sweaters. I will roll the dice on it burning. Actually, you know, it'd be a really funny April Fool's joke is if I did read the Hot Dog Man post seriously, and I said, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> and maybe truly then all of this would end. 
Anyway, I hold your future in my hand, Brad. You keep your bulls away. <laughs> uh, yes, the bulls that force feed him estrogen. There's like some very uh, proclivity stuff that's coming out right here. Little did you know you're telling me all of your deepest, darkest secrets. And I'm not even judging you for it. I mean, I am laughing a little bit. But if you want to be straight-jacketed by a couple of bulls and force-fed estrogen, like, that's... <laughs> yeah, some people are into that, I guess. <laughs> uh, you read my stories right, and, and you give me my phone call! No, uh, we're, we're done with all that. Uh, like I said, I'm no longer entertaining it. I'm already talking to a lawyer about sue you for inappropriate harassment. Yeah, good luck navigating the Philippines legal system. Woo! <laughs> You're taking something on there. I guess you could technically sue me stateside, but I'm not going to show up. They're never going to find me <laughs> in order to serve me. It's fine. I will take every last dime from you for the indignity I had to suffer at the hands of the doctors. You think you could just pay doctors to feed someone estrogen? <laughs> I've never done that in my life. That's not even a thing that I had considered. No, I don't think that. Those would be the ravings of a, a, a very mentally ill person. <laughs> You're wrong, Brad. I will be the very masculine victor at the end of all this. <laughs> yes, super masculine. Who's the bull now? <laughs> this is getting weird. Uh, take me home, please. You will supplicate yourself. Ooh, big word. And give me my phone call. You will bow in the presence of your god, Brad. You will do it. On a bet. <laughs> that's, that's the neat part. I really don't have to do anything. You got a video or two demonetized, and yay. Yippee hooray. Good for you. But that's about as far as it goes. That is all of the effect that you have. And still nothing stops. The The machine keeps rolling forward. Some episodes better than others, but roll forward it does. That Nice Girls yesterday was, was pretty rough. <laughs> anyway. You have no idea suffering I endure. I was maltreated as a child just for being a child. Yeah, that's sad, actually. I know you've got a lot of damage on board, and that is why I recommend therapy. Not like with any amount of malice behind it. There are people out there that'll be like, you should go to therapy, like it's such a negative thing. But no, I 100% think that you could benefit from it. Take the money you were refunded and book an appointment, please. I implore you. I had to change my grandpa's colostomy bag to earn my inheritance. I, I suffered more than anyone you know. <laughs> uh, I don't think changing a poopy bag and then being paid millions of dollars for it down the road is, is the torture that you say that it is. There are people that get their fingernails pulled off for no monetary reward. <laughs> there are people who are waterboarded or put inside of cages to have bamboo shoots grow through their body. They don't get paid for any of that. <laughs> I think you're more than capable of handling the colostomy bag thing, okay? Didn't you volunteer to do it? You've suffered jack shit. <laughs> Uh, yet all of you bully me. Noi, very good. Sinners, the whole of you. <laughs> H-O-L-E, whole. <laughs> uh, giving Brad money is officially a sin, as I commanded. <laughs> oh, no. Don't give me money, guys. I don't want you to go to hell. I've been a grifter this whole time. I finally admit it. <laughs> Uh, God too commends it. <laughs> he commands it or commends it? Because if God wants you to give me money and the hot dog man doesn't, like, that's a pretty clear path of what you should do. But I can't be your moral compass, you know? I'm just the guy who yells in the microphone sometimes. You will obey your freaking king and you will like it. Leave Brad's discord full of neckbeards. Find someone better to support. He's grifted and maltreated me. He is the Satan to my God. Wow, dude. We're, we're nemeses now? <laughs> That's pretty neat. Way back when I was 15 or 16, one of my friend's moms told me that I had the devil inside me. And I like rolled my eyes up and flicked my tongue at her. I was like, I'm the devil. <laughs>
I can't control the beast inside! Uh, and I guess that should have been the first sign, you know? She was right all this time. Who knew? I always thought I was like a good person that gave back to my community in a lot of ways, but maybe you've been right this whole time, you know? Maybe those pills really are helping you out, and maybe you should take some more. <laughs> I offer him simple solutions to all this. He ignore it. I will not tolerate this. You will all leave or you will all be reported. I mean, I think they see like mass reports coming from one account and just sort of shadow ban it. <laughs> like, okay, this person is just reporting fucking everything they see. We don't actually need to investigate this. I will contact every person I can, from police to CEOs, to have you deplatformed, Brad. I mean, it does have it happened to Alec Jones, you know? If I gotta make my living from Twitter, X, whatever you call it, this can be sick. I saw 82 million impressions got paid out like 1.8K. Fucking ridiculous. At that point, we will starve. I'll have to open a Patreon alternative. Please don't have me deplatformed. I know how many police and CEOs you know. Definitely for real in real life. <laughs> my lawyers will remove your videos. The bullying will end for you, Brad. <laughs> If you're still aligned with him in this war of holiness, then you, A, will also suffer with bread. You will burn in the hell. <laughs> I mean, honestly, sounds like a party, dude. <laughs> we could have a pretty good time together, I think. So join up alongside me, won't you? Jerry's, not Jerry's, Bean Boy's gang. I got 40 nations ready to roll, son. And if I do go to the hell, at least I went doing what I thought was right. <laughs> you will not defy the words of your God. He tried to break me with his paid off doctors and bulls. <laughs> Stop saying it. Uh, but I know I would defeat him. He will give me my phone call. He will read my story properly. He will stop mocking me. This isn't over, Brad. This is not over. King Red God. Yeah, I I'm terrified for what comes next. Truth is, you you've been defeated this entire time. And the sad part is, I had nothing to do with that. You defeated yourself all on your own. And you continue to do it unapologetically making the same choices until the end of time. That's wild, bro. That's a wild way to go through life. I don't know if it could be me. And truthfully, it doesn't seem to be working out for you. <laughs> so I don't know. Shift gears at any point, whenever you feel comfortable. I'm sure everyone would thank you for it. Uh, if there's another post, I, I guess we'll read it. Hopefully we can stop with the, the threats of violence, because that's really the thing that concerns me the most, okay? It's it's all good to sit around and have a, a little hoo-ha on the internet. Some giggles and some chortles. But at a certain point, yeah, it, it bleeds out into the real world in a way that I am really not comfortable with. And I, I hope that we can turn a new leaf. Become friends, you and I. You've been paid back all of your money. I refuse to give the phone call in that case. But at a certain point, you should be able to let it go. Be like, okay, well, it didn't work out. That YouTube guy wasn't who I thought he was. Which I don't know who the fuck you thought I was. I'm, I'm pretty transparent, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Different people watch the videos. They take away different messages. Regardless of any of that, I, I do hope to see you get better, Hot Dog Man. Lift yourself up and out. It's not beyond hope. Not quite yet. So let's focus on, you know, improving for the better. Could we? Could you do that for me? <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you guys watching. Please do sign up on the Patreon or the YouTube memberships if you'd like to support us every month. I've been accused of being a grifter before, that's true. But I totally won't grift you. At least, you know, not more than the usual. <laughs> and you can also check out my fourth wall if you want to get grifted into a t-shirt. It'll look really good on you, I swear. There's also hats, buttons, pillows, sweaters, whatever you want. They don't have the zip up and down sweaters, which I'm pretty bummed about, but maybe, maybe someday. 
As one last aside, I would just like to mention that we are doing a stream tomorrow at 1 a.m. my time. Uh, I guess 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as we do our, our Sunday live streams every time. But this time, it's a very special theme, you see. I'm going to play TCG Shop Simulator as the Hot Dog Man. <laughs> so, uh, it should be fun. Stop on through. We'd love to see you. I appreciate it. In addition to all that stuff, you could share the video around if you feel like. But if you don't feel like, that's okay. I just want to remind you, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye.